Mr. Speaker, I am pleased to be able to provide the House of Assembly with an update on the National Association of Insurance Commissioners qualified and reciprocal jurisdiction status for the Bermuda insurance market. Mr. Speaker, I am extremely pleased to report to this Honorable House that on December the 10th, 2019, the National Association of Insurance Commissioners, NAIC, announced that Bermuda had been granted reciprocal jurisdiction status effective January 1st, 2020. Additionally, the NAIC has completed its five-year re-evaluation of Bermuda and it has approved Bermuda as a qualified jurisdiction. Mr. Speaker, the NAIC is the U.S. standard-setting and regulatory support organization created and governed by the country's chief insurance regulators from the 50 U.S. states, District of Columbia, and the five U.S. territories. Effective January 1, 2015, Bermuda was placed on the NAIC's first list of qualified jurisdictions alongside France, Germany, Ireland, Japan, Switzerland, and the United Kingdom. Since 2015, Bermuda has maintained its status on the list. The renewed qualified jurisdiction status maintains Bermuda domiciled insurers and reinsurer eligibility for reduced insurance and reinsurance collateral requirements under the NAIC's Credit for Reinsurance Model Law and Regulations. Bermuda's qualified jurisdiction status is applicable to insurers and reinsurers licensed as Class 3A, Class 3B, and Class 4, and long-term insurers of Class C, Class D, and Class E. To be reapproved as a qualified jurisdiction, the BMA was required to maintain a regime that meets the standards, standards of and achieves similar supervisory outcomes of the U.S. regulatory system for insurers and reinsurers. Mr. Speaker, qualified jurisdiction status has solidified Bermuda's well-established relevance to the U.S. as a major insurance and reinsurance trading partner. Over the past two decades, Bermuda insurers and reinsurers have paid in excess of $200 billion to settle U.S. losses, consistently offering valuable capacity provisioning for catastrophic events. As one of only seven jurisdictions with a qualified jurisdiction status, 23 of the 35, 32 certified insurers and reinsurers are Bermudian. These insurers and reinsurers' ability to passport into 39 states further underscores the Bermuda's market's relevance to the United States. Renewal of Bermuda status as a qualified jurisdiction will allow continued efficiencies in the cross-border operation of Bermuda insurers and reinsurers in the U.S. insurance market. Mr. Speaker, this year, the NAIC, in their revision to the Credit for Reinsurance Model Law and Regulations, created a new status to expand these benefits, reciprocal jurisdiction. This is an elevated status, which in the case of non-European Union jurisdictions, can only be achieved by first gaining the prerequisite qualified jurisdiction status and recognizing the U.S. state regulatory system for group supervision and group capital. The goal of these revisions was to create consistency between the model law and regulations and the provisions contained in the covered agreements in the United States have with the European Union and the United Kingdom. In becoming a reciprocal jurisdiction, Bermuda insurers and reinsurers will be eligible for zero collateral relief, thereby operating under equal conditions as its counterparts from the EU and UK. Bermuda's, Mr. Speaker, Bermuda's approval as a reciprocal jurisdiction further cements the close economic relationship between the U.S. and Bermuda, and our insurers and reinsurers continue to play a vital role in supporting the U.S. economy by providing the financial protection and support needed when there is a loss. Mr. Speaker, Bermuda is in the financial services business, and thousands of jobs, both Bermudian and guest workers alike, depend on the success of this sector. The government, therefore, is committed to helping Bermuda's financial institutions succeed in global markets. This decision directly supports our commitment to the financial services sector and the livelihoods of those employed in it. Mr. Speaker, I wish to express my sincere thanks to Mr. Jeremy Cox and the Bermuda Monetary Authority team for doing such an excellent job with tireless effort in, ex in orchestrating the regulatory requirements that have, have led to the NAIC granting Bermuda reciprocal jurisdiction status. This result is indeed a feat of determination, endurance, and extraordinary discipline. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.